So I have shed my flannel already. It's about one o'clock. Anyway, so um, I wanted to really show y'all this uh, white buffalo stone, which um, is this one right here. And white buffalo stone is a um, kind of a uh, stone that people argue about because people say that it's white turquoise or uh, holite or, um, you know, there's no such thing as white turquoise, blah, blah, blah. But it is an actual stone that comes from one mine, one mine in Nevada. Not Nevada. Um, yeah, maybe, I can't remember, let me think, is it Nevada? But anyway, um, I went into this little Indian shop, you know, cause I just felt drawn to it. I thought, well, maybe I was going to find a basket and I do have a basket. I'll show y'all now that I've said it. Um, I have an Indian basket and, um, I didn't know. I just wanted something white Buffalo or I was thinking white Buffalo and I saw this shop and it was only open for like three months. So, um, I went in there and, um, the little ladies, they didn't, uh, really understand much English. And, um, I told them I wanted something white Buffalo. If they had any white Buffalo stuff. And uh, after I got him to understand white buffalo, uh, the lady said, oh, I have something in the back. And uh, she brought it out, and it was this little stone. And so um, for a while, it was on a necklace that my husband had made me, because it's a bead. It's a little, it's not a, it's a, it's a sewn bead. It has a, a hole drilled in it. So, um, I'm still stuck on that in Nevada. It's not Nevada, and it's not New Mexico. Maybe Arizona? I'm not sure. Um, I should have looked it up before I came on here with my big mouth. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's supposed to hold the energy that... Um, is equivalent to determination and self-change. And um, this stone here is, uh, is a blue lace agate that my daughter picked up in this hippie town known as Yellow Springs, Ohio. It's where the Antioch College is and all the little occult bookstores and hippie shops and you know coffee shops things like that it's a really cool little town and um blue lace agate holds the energy of guardian angels and the higher self and really um your higher self is it's an it's a guardian angel is it not and so this helps keep clear the pathways so I figured they were good stones together to carry in my pocket the last few days because I've been having a really hard time um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, all the way through. And so um, let me get out of the sunlight. And so I'll try to get a video of them in the sun. Okay, and then um, the painting that i done recently... I don't know how well you can see it. It's um, little trick-or-treaters and uh, the big blue moon that's coming on October 31st, I believe, in Taurus. And my little uh, scarecrow right there, my little house. And in the back, you can see there's dried corn still in the fields, in some fields, you know. There's little um, spiders and bats and and little, um, there's a little owl there. And there's an owl up in that tree. 
and little pumpkins and stuff. So that's my painting and my stones, but I have to go get my daughter, so I'm going to cut it short. But I love you guys, and it, it some days it's just going to be that way, and you just have to honor it. So if it's a fuck it day, fuck it. Drink a beer or whatever. If today is a day of vice, what is your vice? Use it if you need to. Don't think it's a bad thing unless, you know, you're not in control of yourself and you're like, still, that's a judgment. If you want to sit there and guzzle the whole damn barrel of beer, I'm not going to hold it against you. I might hold your hair when you puke, though. Just don't pee on me. <laughs> but no. You know, uh, everything is as it should be. So sometimes we have to keep reminding ourselves of that and find peace in it. Find some peace in that. And, and that's the inner peace. That's the inner peace. It, it gives you inner peace. It just carries that energy. And um, forgive yourself. And be grateful. I love y'all. Blessings.